What's up guys, it's Ralph Misha and welcome to another Pokemon TCG unboxing. Today we will be unboxing the Mythical Victini box. I know this one will be up very late as uh, the box has already been out and there's so many already uploaded. But I've only just got round to recording this one. So I really hope you enjoy it and let's see what kind of pulls we get. So here it is, the Victini box. Um, of course we've seen these Mythical boxes before so we get inside them a pin a promo and two generations packs which you cannot buy separately at this moment in time um the back is usually the same as all the rest and now victini's in your command um if you don't know at this point in september victini is available to get as a mythical um event pokemon on xy and omega ruby and alpha sapphire for, through the mystery gift you can just do get via internet and get it that way so without further ado let's actually bust into this and uh, we'll take a look at all the things inside there's also a TCGO code in here um, I won't bother speeding this bit out because this one's actually been quite fast so yeah there's a TCGO code in here like I said which I will redeem and I will show you what we get with that so here is what we get on the TCGL. We get two packets of generations which I will open. And we also get some awesome sleeves which you will see at the end. Let's see how well we do. So we got a Flareon EX from Radiance Collection. And a Hollow Butterfree. pack one and in the second pack we got a Jirachi from Radiance Collection there a Butterfree Reverse Hollow I think that is and a Jolteon EX, which is very sought after uh, in real life, that card. So, not too bad on pulls there. EX is in both. And here are the sleeves that you get. You get them with every Mythical Collections box that you open. So there are the Victini sleeves. And I think I'll probably be using them on here. First of course we have the classic poster, I'll show you the back first with all the mythical Pokemon on and then of course all these, so there's only three left after this one. Um, I will put a link in the description below to all of the other videos that I've done there in a playlist called TCG Openings, so I'll put that to one side. And then of course we have the actual promo which I will carefully pop out here and the, the code so we'll get rid of the code really quickly and this is where I take over with a voiceover because OBS decided to stop recording my audio for some bizarre reason um, but we'll take a look at the card anyway and not worry about OBS I'll fix that at some point but here's the Victini card really really pretty I think this one um, I usually say at this point that this is my favorite one it's not I think the Arceus is my favorite one at the moment but um this Victini one I like because in the same way as Arceus, it has a very simple background which really makes the Pokemon stand out and um, whereas with other ones, I think with Shaman and with Manaphy you have quite crowded backgrounds, there's a lot going on behind that Pokemon um, I do still like those but I think the Victini looks better with just a basic background um, so there's that, there's the promo card I'll show you the packs in a minute so we'll move on to the pin Victini pin, obviously the same style as the rest of the uh, Pokemon 20 pins, which you can buy them anywhere. Um, I think Pokemon Center does them, which if you're in America that's good, but we don't have that here in the UK. But um, they all have this little Pokeball design on the back, um, which I really enjoy. I think that's quite cute, like on the back. <laughs> um, I'm just going to add this one to my customised pin board. The back of these is a bugger to get off because they're really, really tight. But obviously, because it's small, I instantly lost it. 
Um, I took it off. I moved. I dropped it on the floor. God knows where it went. I probably should look for it. Um, but yeah. I've lost a few of these packs now. <laughs> so we'll put that one next to Arceus, which was obviously the last box we got. If you haven't seen that one yet, there's a link in the description below to the playlist of all the Pokemon openings I've done so far and the Steam Siege ones I've done so far. Um, so go ahead and check those out if you haven't already seen those. Um, and of course now we're going to move on to the packs. Now you get two packs in here. Um, two packs of generations I should be more specific which you cannot buy these booster packs like you can with like face collide or steam seed or anything like that you can only get these in special pokemon 20 um promo packs and stuff like that so the mystical collections ones um there is an elite trainer box out at the time of this recording in the UK in September the generations elite trainer box has just come out so there will be an upcoming video on that in due course but anyway, we'll get to opening the pack. So we'll start with Pikachu and end with Venusaur. Similar to the order that you see in the background. Um, Generations packs, notoriously difficult to open. Notoriously difficult. Um, very well sealed. So let's see if we can get into this Pikachu one and see what we get in here. There we go. So pack trick for this is three and then three. You could just take three to the front, but I don't like doing that because I like my um, cards to be in order of rarity. So we start with common, then uncommon, then rare. So we're going to start with a Slowpoke, Machop, Paris, Fire Energy, Snow Run, Maintenance, Imakuni, Reverse Ponyta, or Reverse Bob Ross's Ponyta, a Diancie from, uh, from Radiance Collection even, and our first rare from generations is going to be a regular rare Gyarados so nothing fantastic in there the Diancie I think I already have about four of at this point um, the best thing in that pack I think probably was for me the reverse ponytail because I love that ponytail it looks like um, like the background looks like a Bob Ross painting anyway turn your hats around guys it's the last pack let's see if we can get some last pack luck here um, with this Venusaur. Venusaur packs have actually been fairly good to me in the past. Um, if you want to see a really, really good opening where Venusaur did me good, go and check out my, I think it was my Venusaur EX box. Again, linked in the description below um, to the playlist which that is in. So let's see what Venusaur brings us this time. Let's see if there's any luck. So three then three. And let's see what we've got here. So we start off with a fighting energy. Love the generations energies. I think they're really cool. A Doduo. Slowpoke. Dark energy. Charmander. Persian. Mr. Mime. A reverse ghastly. An Altaria. Hollow from Radiance Collection. And a regular rare pincer. So nothing amazing really. This is the first Mythical Collections box that I've bought. Where I haven't got an ultra rare in them before. Um, so I'll just show off these uh, two Radiance Collection ones. Because they are hollows. Most of the Radiance Collection cards that you get at the back are hollow. Um, or you can get a Radiance Collection EX. But a bit disappointed with that uh, Victini box. Like I said, the first time in a Mythical Collections box that we haven't pulled an Ultra Rare, especially when the Generations ratio is a 50% chance of you getting um, a Rare, uh, an Ultra Rare even, because that ratio is upped by the fact that you can get an Ultra Rare in Radiance Collection and or um, the Generations pack. So I'll leave you guys looking at the Victini here and I will cut to my outro. So that's it for this video. Bit of a shame really that we didn't get any ultra rares. We got a couple of regular rares and of course those um, two Radiance Collection hollows. But the first ever Mythical Collections box that we've had where we haven't pulled a rare, which kind of sucks. But um, thank you very much for watching anyway. Of course, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below and of course share it with your friends. And I will see you in the next TCG opening. Peace.